Hi everyone, and welcome to another tutorial in Cubase 9.5. I've had the opportunity recently to do some orchestral composition, and anyone who's ever done orchestral composition knows that staying organized and having an efficient workflow is the only way you're ever going to get anything done because there's so much going on. So I've been using a little trick to help me with arrangement and to helping me with uh, moving parts around uh, using the folder tracks in Cubase, and that's what I'm going to show you today. So let's hit it. So we're here in Cubase, and this is my orchestral template, and you have to build this out. I mean, you're going to have to take time to build a template, and I'll uh, leave a link in one of the corners to a video I did on building a kitchen sink type template, which will help you when building an orchestral template. But here I have, of course, my instruments, my reverb buses, uh, my group buses with uh, the automation for the string showing. But uh, what I want to show you is using folders for composition with um, orchestral instruments. And now in this queue, it's a queue I've been working on, it only, it does not use, so here's strings, brass, woodwind, percussion, and piano, and harp. Now it doesn't use these two, so we can hide them. Uh, it just uses strings, brass, and woodwind. So here's the cue I've been working on. I'll let y'all check it out. I don't know how to conduct. So it's got that part, and then, um, you know, here at three. So very simple, it's just a simple waltz cue, sort of like a uh, very airy and light. But uh, what I use here for organization is these folder tracks. So everything gets rolled up into the instrument track and if I want to, you know, move around this early part, you know, up until the change, you know, I can just select this and sort of move it down. And then if we select it, uh, you know, that whole thing gets copied. And same with the middle section, like, uh, if you want to just take this whole middle section, you know, you can hold the Alt key, move it over, and that all gets copied. So... And... That's nice, but an arranger track can sort of do that. An arranger track can take the totality of everything you've done and put it in piecemeal. Why I like this folder track setup is because uh, you can do that with individual parts. So for the strings, if I want to copy strings, but I want a different brass line or a different woodwind line, you know, I can come in here and individually select out parts and just copy the strings to the end of the queue and then not copy the brass or the woodwinds, and I can do specific parts. Because especially on strings, I do not use key switches. As you can see with my woodwinds here, I do use key switches. And in my brass, I'll use key switches, which is nice, but the strings are so complicated and they always sort of take a lead when you're doing orchestral composition that the strings, I end up just loading up one articulation per track and then doing it that way, just because it's easier for me to keep the strings straight and to have all that stuff loaded with key switches sometimes I'll get confused and screw that stuff up so if I wanted to move the violins I could move the first violins I could move the second violins violas cellos bass simply by selecting out the folder and you know placing it wherever I want to within the composition and that's uh, pretty awesome if you ask me just a pretty awesome feature to be able to use these folder tracks to sort of individually select out bits and pieces of your composition and move them in the arrangement process. And that's a method I use. Now, I am 100% certain that there is more than one way to do this. And if you are a composer out there and you're doing orchestral stuff, or even if you're not doing orchestral stuff, I would like to know in the comments what your particular methodology is for arranging your compositions, because I know that I'm using folders because that sort of makes sense to me and I build my templates off of folders, but that's that doesn't mean that it's necessarily the right thing for you. 
And you may know a way of keeping all this information straight, organizing it and arranging it that I don't. And so let me know in the comments uh, if there is a different way or what you use or if you use something similar to this. And I'd love to hear it and I'll read everything. And that's about it, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it useful, please feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves. Peace.